Mental toughness is more important than physical toughness. That's why great things happen in this country. It's because people don't believe, guys, you can't do something. That's what mental toughness is. Mental toughness is self-discipline within yourself to be consistent, to get the job done. It's discipline. It's doing something you don't want to do, but doing it the best you can. Mental toughness is sacrifice. You got to sacrifice all the time. Mental toughness is getting the job done when you're hurt, you're banged up, guys, and it's tough to do it, but you still do it. Mental toughness is fearless. It's having the courage to make play. It's having the courage to get the job done when people think you can't get it done. Time is now. No excuses. We ready to go? I'm John Selk. I'm a Lake City native. We're back here in the potting soil of Wayne Steffenhagen. But I remember the bull, as we called him, by the time he got to the University of Minnesota. I remember him when he was a small town boy. He came uh, off a farm. I don't think the parents had an idea what a powerhouse that they were raising in their house. When I saw him on the track the first time, I said in his nomination paper for the Lake City Schools Hall of Fame, it was like watching a beer keg shot out of a cannon. But how can a guy, five, nine and a half, do the shot in the Big Ten? When I got up into your area, and I'd talk with people, and I'd say, do you happen to know Wayne Steffenhagen? And then the narrative began. They would talk about him as a guy who groomed men like you'd groom fine horses. And that's when I began to realize the, the meaning of Wayne's life. It wasn't just about athletics. It was the idea of, of getting men started, getting them to believe in themselves. I'm going to be honest with you, your life is going to change dramatically starting today for, the, for many of you. I want to tell you right now, we love you, but we're going to do what's right. Discipline is doing what's right for you. Son, you got to hold on to the ball. You cannot do that. That's going to get our ass killed. Jesus, unhook the trailer. Here we go, here we go. Get running. Jesus, he's got to know how to hell to line up. Trips right, trips right, curl snake, halfback seam pass. Oh boy, are we getting our ass knocked off. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Jesus, Martha, we're flatter than shit in there. Taco! 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 I'll find everything you do. We're trying to be the best. Mediocrity doesn't exist. Okay, well, good luck to you. Today. Thank you very much, man. Thanks yeah, for being here. Appreciate it. Yep, you bet. Beautiful day for football. Yep. I don't want to hear the sun was in my eyes. We got to make plans. It's about making plans. Hey, come here. Cougar right, week three belly, quick count. Jesus, Martha, look at the size of those guys. You got to believe, you got to believe, you got to believe. I'm going to see more conviction on your face. Pro right, seven dive, double fade. But man, this Hurry guy up. was a kidnapper. He did not deserve Sandra Spencer. <laughs> Quote. Careful. <laughs> Don't get fooled. Don't get fooled. Come on, get him. Get him. Next, I'd like to introduce the wives. Certainly, uh, my wife, I want to thank her very, very much for all the support, all the work she's done in our football program. Sandra, would you please stand, please? I didn't meet him until college. We were at we were at the same dorm. This is how he looked when I met him. And I remember thinking, well, you know, he's not too bad, but he's got such a big butt and such big thighs because <laughs> because he had all that weight and uh, he carried a lot of weight in his legs and his pants were wearing out where his thighs rubbed together. His pants would wear thin. <laughs> You know, I got a lot of clippings in here. Look at this without his glasses. Doesn't he look like a movie star? <laughs> we got married during football season, which just turned out to be a little strange. We almost always have a game on our anniversary or around our anniversary. Come on now! Hold up! My stomach has been jumping all day. He did get a job at Glendale Nicolet. We were, you know, moving down there, we'd found a house, and all of a sudden the Everest job opened up. And he said, oh, if I could be in the valley, that's what I want. And we've been at Everest uh, for 30 years. Go! 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 
I love it almost as much as he does. You've got to be kidding! I think he expects a lot out of people. He always has said, some people may outthink me and outmaneuver me, but nobody's going to outwork me. When we lived in Stevens Point, Wayne had a, I, I don't know what it was, some older car that he bought. Two of his football players um, painted it red. And shortly after we moved to Everest, Wayne had the car parked out in front of our house. And one morning he went out to get in the car and there was a sign on there that said, paint me green. All the other schools that Wayne ever coached at, their colors were either red and white or red and black. So this was the very first time that we were a different color, but it was important to the kids that that car was not red. And so we, we remedied that. <laughs> It's been really uh, unique and when I first came here. It was kind of a, a matter of uh, reawakening the, the uh, tradition that STEAM had here. It's unbelievable what uh, young men can do if they really set their mind to it. So it's uh, certainly uh, been fun. Here we go! We've not had better athletes all these years. You don't win five or six state championships because you got better athletes. You do it because you're better fundamentally and you got a better attitude. That's what wins. I've got some of 81 in here too. Look at that picture. This is the sports writer at St in Stevens Point. Don Friday was his name. And it said, the state crown comes to Stephen Hagen in only his fourth season at the Everest Helm. Wayne has brought the same qualities to the Schofield School that he displayed so well during his tenure as top football assistant and head track coach at SPASH. Dedication, discipline, and organization. It seems obvious that with Stephen Hagen at the helm, Everest fans can look for a return to the longtime winning tradition the school enjoyed under Howard Steam. Get up, eat a good breakfast, get your lunch organized, do all the little things to give us a chance. Buy into what we're doing. Be a team guy. Don't be your own. We don't want guys that are going to do their own thing. We can't win a team game, guys, with a me guy. Stay together. It's about one heartbeat. It's about one heartbeat. All the time. It's about team. We had really gone from a rags to riches type scene. This was one of the first things that was done by the community um, that came out in the community people would buy these and look at the short shorts <laughs> uh, it's a credit to our young men the community and uh, certainly our assistant coaches we're just not blocking anybody in their coach we're not blocking anybody and we've time out for guns hey hey time out time out jesus now, now coach Stanton. Thank, thank you, Mr. Bosman. Bosman. I want to thank the parents. I want to thank the athletes that participate in this program. I'll tell you, the longer I've been at it, this game can humble you in a hurry, trust me. However, it really does simulate life more than any other game I know, because you can get knocked down, you better be able to get back up because that's the real test. I think uh, certainly this uh, game teaches that. Suck it up. You're going to be hurting a lot worse somewhere along the road in life. And that's what this game simulates is life. This isn't the only disappointment you're going to have in life. But if we let it whip us, guys, then we get, hey, then we get another loss, okay? Whatever. We got to pick ourselves up by the bootstraps. Recognize, hey, they kicked our ass, okay? But that doesn't mean, gentlemen, that we have to like it. I have a few letters here. This is a congratulations on winning the state championship from Governor Lee Sherman Dreyfus. Oh, this one is very nice. Dear Coach, I'm writing to you because I never had the opportunity to say Bring thanks for all the times Bring you have helped me in the past. Pass. Since the very first day I met you, I have had the greatest respect and admiration for you. I could always come to you and believe the advice you gave me. Your dedication, drive, and convictions are remarkable. How can one human being have the ability to influence so many others? 
Your strive for excellence has taught me to do the same, to never be satisfied until a person achieves his maximum capabilities. There's a long way to go. So that doesn't mean we fold up the tent, if you understand what I'm saying. Since I've known you, my outlook on life has changed. You are a true champion in life. I only hope I can grow to be half the man you are. On the night, desire to win. Here we go. Here we go. And he sent out his weight program to a lot of people. Remember, we want to get all three maxes done today. But the reason that our weight program works is because he works with the kids. He doesn't just stand in the weight room and stand there with his arms folded and let the kids just do whatever. Get our ears back and get it done and get after it, okay? Here we go. Let's have some fun. Fire it up. Let's go. That engine running. Hey. How's it going, Paul? Good. Good to see you, Riley. How's my man? We're going to crank it up here. We're going to knock the roof off of this place. Move those feet. I want those feet just like they're in fire. Got to be explosive. Cal, awesome. Boy, you, you hit a big one today on that bench. Chest up. Hop. Legs now. Legs and hips. Tyler, how's it going? Excellent. Outstanding. Mace, crank it up now. You got to attack. You got to go right out of your mind and believe in yourself. Let's go, come on, let's go. Jack it up, let's go. Gotta attack it. Gotta move those feet. You gotta be able to dance, we can't use you. All right, that's first. I like it, Joshua. I like it. You know what we should do today? Let's find out where your max is. You know, done and never lose that nice smile. Hell, I thought I had a donkey or a mule in here kicking. You, got, you guys got your squats in, got those done? And then you give me six of them straightaways. At I about, my sprinting yesterday. Oh, what am I doing? That's all right. Unbelievable. Good things are out if you keep working. You're going to have some fun. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Good, Hey, you have a great weekend. You're doing a heck of a job. All right. Hey, Kenny. Chang, have a great day. Have a good weekend. Well, how are those grades going? They're going good this week. You keep them going good. All right? There's no, no let up. Keegan. Have you got any of your maxes done? Excuse me. Got a little popcorn stuck in my throat. <laughs> Cole, have a good weekend, okay, buddy? You know what? Before you leave, give me, uh, give me about 10 on that box. The one thing I really admire is the way that he can talk to young men and the way that he can get them to buy into what he's doing and the way that he can motivate them. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, David. That's good. You look you make sure you lock up on that ball. Or something. That's one of his strengths is he has a great rapport with good kids. Job. Good job, good job, Matt. Good job. We got a lot of work to do. Saw a lot of good things, but we have to keep working. Okay, now we're going to pick it up to about 89%. About 89%. Great technique. I want you to look like a world-class sprinter. We've been doing this for 104 years. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nice and easy. Just jog her down there. Shag it out a little bit. Shag it out a little bit. Speed! Let's go! Hammer that thing! Full speed! Let's go! 77. Here we go! Penetrate! Cause disruption! Don't let them set their blocks! Guys, mental toughness is not wanting to let your teammates down. It's about belief in yourself. It's wanting to come through. It's wanting to put your stamp on this football team, on yourself, on our program, all of this together. Here we go! We push you hard, but by God, there isn't one guy we won't do something for. Not one guy. Nice throw! Nice throw! Where you looking at? Good job! We believe in you. He can make a young men feel like they're important and important. Even the ones that are not starting feel like they're an important part of the program and, and that the program couldn't go on without them. You know, he's kind of an in-your-face coach and in, in this day and age, that's not always, uh, you know, popular. You shake your head and I'm going to shake it for you. Give the knockout punch. Can we give the knockout? Yeah! Can we beat the hell out of him? Yeah! Listen careful. Are they more physical than you? No! Go to work. Jesus, Martha! Hey, Jesus, Martha? Unfrickin' believable. Jesus Christ, we played. Pass the fence like a blind man! Skip. 
Hey. Why do we always do that? He must be a wonderful motivator. I've never heard his motivating speeches. You got to be a sadistic son of a gun to play this game. That's what makes it special. Because most people aren't tough enough to play. Believe in yourself. You can do it. You got to play with heart. Tremendous heart. You got to want it so damn bad you can taste it. Just go out and do it. Dear coach, the purpose of this letter is a thank you that has been long coming. Being the typical kid growing up, I wasn't aware of all the great things I had in my life. But most importantly, it's because that was the start of a transformation for me. Not so much in a physical realm, but rather in the mentality that still brews within me till this day. You challenge my attitude by constantly forcing me to never accept good enough. Your confidence in me allowed my will to never fade. While the pats on the back drove me to excel, your patience gave me the time to learn and the fourth quarter mentality kept my eyes on the finish. Tackle him, tackle him. For 21 consecutive years, we're not bragging because the athletes have done this. We've never finished below second. And we're very proud of that. That is a remarkable record as well as being in the playoff 14 consecutive times, five state titles, one runner-up. That has been, I think, a pretty uh, impressive uh, record on behalf of the athletes that we've had. Let's give them a hand. One, two, three. Very good job, gentlemen. More importantly than that, we're about developing young men, hopefully, with great character. We want them to be great people in and around the community, at our school to be great leaders. Secondly, we want them to be a great student. Those two factors are what they're gonna take with them the rest of their life, and we certainly support that from the bottom of our heart 100%. You know, every time you walk by that stadium and you see that wall of fame, that field, the tremendous involvement our community has, you have to feel a sense of pride, it's just a pleasure and to be a part of this program and certainly this community. This uh, particular statue was given to Wayne. It's called the Sower. I think he is a, a, a sower of seeds in young people and I think it's very appropriate for him to have that. Today, as we stand on this wonderful football field in the midst of our beloved Steam Stadium, it is proclaimed that henceforth, from this moment forward, this field shall be known as Stephen Hagen Field in honor of Wayne's work and accomplishments. Our personalities, he's an only child and I'm a firstborn child. And that's not a good combination in a marriage, they say. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> what signs are you, did you look up? Your You're, oh, am I still on? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs>